All right, bananas ready? Sub Zero, you ready? I am ready. Ow! What up, what up, it's Chad Wildclay, and in my last Fruit Ninja video, a ton of you guys commented below that I should do more Mortal Kombat weapons. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna buy five Mortal Kombat weapons and test them out on some fruit and some other fun stuff. Let's go. And the first Mortal Kombat weapon we will be testing out is Sub-Zero's Kuri Blade. The Kuri Blade is Sub-Zero's weapon of choice in a number of Mortal Kombat video games. The blade itself is made by Sub-Zero's freezing water vapor. All right, well, let's jump online and see if we can find a sword that could act as Sub-Zero's Kuri Blade. All right, so on to KarateMarked.com where I get most of my weapons. I think this sword looks great. It's a full tang hook blade. It's got an awesome blue color, which makes me think of uh, ice and it's $21.95. Let's go ahead and buy this thing so we can test it out. And look what came in the mail. I think it is Sub Zero's sword. Oh, I have to unzip it here first. That's cool. I've never seen a sheath with a zipper. Oh, look at that. I think we can just have it rip right through its own plastic. That's fine. That is a really cool color blue too. Oh my gosh, that, that is sharp right there for sure. And this section here is sharp as well. And then it has some rigid edges here as well as some rigid edges here. And a very wise choice to put the uh, wrist strap on here. So as I'm swinging this around, I might accidentally let go and it doesn't fly out of my hands and I'll lose the thing or it flies into somebody. And this is a super sharp point here. I could definitely like pop a soda bottle super easily. But first I need to become Sub-Zero before I go outside with this blade. So I already actually have a Sub-Zero costume that I got from KarateMart.com. And uh, why don't I go and grab that right now? Oh, I found it. There it is, the Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero large costume man. For a man, just in case you weren't sure. I'm gonna become Sub-Zero in about one second here. <laughs> I am Sub-Zero. What I often like to do with my costumes is I like to upgrade the mask. Whenever I need costumes, I always like to check out HalloweenCostumes.com. And of course, they have what I'm looking for here, Deluxe Sub-Zero Mask. So I'm going to add this to cart. And what's this I see over here on the left? A Sub-Zero Sword Accessory. Let's check this out. That looks cool. It's got like fake blood all over the blade. Why don't we add this as well. And our shipment from HalloweenCostumes.com has arrived. Let's open this up and see what we've got. Cool, we've got our Sub-Zero mask here and the Sub-Zero sword. Cool, let's try out this sword first. I'm really impressed with this. This is fun. It's very, uh, very lightweight sword, just a toy. You know, it's a great costume accessory. We'll play with this a little bit, but let's check out this mask. This is cool. This thing is like a pro mask here. Let's try this thing on, see how it looks. Ready, here we go. Now I'm feeling like Sub-Zero. Let's go outside and destroy some things with our swords. I've got my buddy Justin behind the camera there. How's Woo. it going, Justin? Awesome. Woo. Sub Zero. You, I gotta show you my other blade here because this is just a toy blade, of course. Oh, that's not real? No, this isn't real. Get out of here. This, this isn't even real blood. Can you believe it? What? You thought this was your blood? <laughs> Here's what Sub Zero would really use. Holy smokes. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty <laughs> cool. I heard I'm on that thing. Yeah. Got Soda Ninja here versus Sub Zero's sword. His eyes look like he's ready to battle, don't they? He's got Ooh. the he's got the big eyes. So here we go. Are you ready, Soda Ninja? Ready. Woo! That was you know, I didn't ask Katana. <laughs> no, that was the Soda Ninja. You're like, oh, that was the Soda. He's got a very feminine voice. <laughs> I can't hit a woman. Let's go. Now we're back from the dead. Remember you, Soda Ninja. All right, let's go back inside and get another weapon. And 
the next Mortal Kombat weapon we will be buying and trying are Katana's Steel Fans. They are bladed, fan-like weapons used by Katana from Mortal Kombat 2 moving forward. Sometimes you see them as just plain steel fans with sharpened edges, and other times you see them with actual blades attached. I think we're gonna have a hard time finding blades that are razor sharp, but let's see what we can find. All right, guys, this is the closest I can find to Katana's blades. They are steel kung fu fans for $36.95. Fans are very popular weapons in the Chinese martial arts because of their ability to surprise an unsuspecting enemy. Well, cool, I'm excited to try these out. Let's get a red one and a black one and see how they work. And Katana's fans have arrived. Open that up, oh, there we go. And you can see the metal section right away. And it has a very cool dragon emblem here in gold. Cool, look at that. Wow, these are huge. So I don't know if it's gonna do much against fruit here. It is made out of metal, uh, but it is not sharp. If I could um, hit it hard enough, I could do something, I think. This will be interesting. I, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'll be able to do here with these, um, but I'll definitely try my best to, to chop some things up with these. All right, let's open up the other one here. All right, cool. And if it's hot outside, this is gonna feel really great, guys. Let's go outside and test these things out. But wait a second, first, we need Katana to join us. We can't use these without Katana. Back over to HalloweenCostumes.com, the Mortal Kombat Katana costume for $49.99. Wow, that looks incredible. And uh, I know V's gonna look incredible in it as well. Why don't we just go grab this thing? And the Katana costume has arrived. Let's open this thing up. Hey, is that V? All right, it includes tops, shorts, attached apron, face mask, armbands, gauntlets, boots, tops, headpiece. It comes with everything we need. Let's check this out. There's the top, there's the shorts or the waistband. Hey, there's the wristbands. And here is the gauntlet, arm gauntlet. Well, why don't we just have V try these on? We'll meet you guys outside. Katana, hey, uh, have we met before? Oh, uh, I don't think so. I've got a gift for you. Some fans. Check I already have a lot of those on my YouTube channel. Oh, <laughs> she is quick, man. She is quick, I tell you. She's a little rusty, guys. You're so heavy. What, what do you do with those? <laughs> you just go like this. Wah! And wow. then, then your enemy runs away and they're like, whoa! And you just be like really shy about it. Like, ah. And then you can cool off between rounds. Yeah. Like, woo! Let's go chop some fruit. Wah! All right, bananas ready? Sub Zero, are you ready? I am ready. Hey! Sub-Zero. Woo, I'm a basketball player now. All right, I'm gonna attack both of these at Sub-Zero. Bring it on, Katana. I'll never forget this day. Kind of. Let's try the uh, pepper. It's getting pretty hot in here. Ow! Ooh. Let's go back inside and get another weapon. And 
the next weapon we will be testing out is Sub-Zero's blue thumbs up, because when you click on that thumbs up button down below, it turns blue, and that's just like Sub-Zero. No, for real guys, the next weapon is Takeda's Blade Whip. Takeda uses two long serrated edged whips concealed in his gauntlet. They are launched at high speeds for maximum striking power and can be electrified for increased damage. It's similar to Scorpion's Chain Dart. All right guys, so this is a pretty unique weapon. It might be tough to find it, but let's jump online and see what we can find. Oh, cool, of course Karate Mart has something similar. It's the Razor Chain Whip for $54.95, wow. This thing looks deadly. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to use it even just looking at it. The Razor Chain Whip is unlike your typical chain weapon. Rather than being a series of loose fitting connected links, this chain weapon features 21 discs that resemble vertebrae and move side to side. All right, let's get this thing. And the chain whip is here. Professional stainless steel chain whip. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty heavy. All right, let's get this out of the packaging here. Uh, let's get a lot of the plastic here first. There we go. Yeah, look how long this thing is. Probably three to four feet long. Looks like a snake almost. <laughs> Almost look like little Batman symbols, don't they guys? Oh, and look, it's got a little keychain at the bottom in case you wanted to carry this around with you and put your keys on it. A really cool handle. It's like wide at the ends and then it gets smaller in the middle. Makes for a good grip. And it does pivot a little bit here, but I think it's made more for like sideways like this. Let's go outside and test this weapon out against some fun stuff. Here we go. Sub-Zero, I challenge you. Oh, do you? Next weapon is the Takeda Blade Whip. Whoa. Whoa! You guys are gonna have to stand really far back because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go grab a watermelon and do some chopping. We got our Fruit Ninja here. It's actually Sensei Fruit Ninja. He's, he's a little older, as you can tell, with the graying mustache here. Look at that, I just nicked him. I gotta get a little bit closer to him. I cut open his brain a little bit there. Let's try that again. Ew, there's a little bit of his brain on the ground. Oh. Ew. Okay, Fruit Ninja, are you ready for me? has a big, his brain flew right out of the top here. Let's go ahead and give him his brain back, what oh. do you say? There you go. Don't lose your mind over this, would you? All right, let's go back inside and get another weapon. And the next Mortal Kombat weapon we are testing out is the, no, it's not the bell, but thank you to all of you guys who have clicked on that bell symbol down below because that allows you to get here quick, hang out with me in the comment sections after every upload, and hang out with me in the live streams before uploads. So if you do turn that bell on, make sure it's not only black, but has the ringing symbols on it as well. Thanks for having that on, guys. All right, the next Mortal Kombat weapon is the Kama. Nightera uses the Kama as her weapon style in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and Tournament Edition and in Armageddon. And then Serena wields a pair of Kama in Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub-Zero. And the Kama is a very popular weapon, although we've never actually used it on this series before. So I'm excited to finally get the chance to use this weapon. Perfect sharpened Kama for $18.95. Like many other Okinawan weapons, the Kama is delivered from traditional farming tools used in Japan, but with a six and a half inch sharpened steel blade, this pair of razor sharp commas can be used in combat for deadly effect. This is perfect. Let's buy these things. Comma, 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 comma. Whoa, okay. The commas have arrived. They are actually very, very lightweight. I'm really surprised at how lightweight these are. Uh, and I'm not just swinging these around by my face by themselves. I do have the protective plastic sheath on them here. Yeah, these babies are oiled up. Ooh, well, I'm gonna, I, I, oh my gosh. 
That is super sharp. This might be the sharpest weapon I've ever ordered. Dang, wow. Gonna easily cut anything. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the sleeve here because it's all greasy and crazy sharp. I don't wanna hurt myself just, just yet. I wonder what this says right here. I can't read it. If any of you guys know what this says, let me know. That would be really cool to find out. But before I start training with these super sharp weapons, I'm going to practice with the polypropylene training comma. Yes, these are gonna be perfect so I don't chop my hands off while I'm practicing. Let's get them. And the training commas have arrived. Let's open these up and check them out. All right, yeah, these actually are about the same weight, I think, as the uh, other commas. They're a little bit longer though, so that's cool. Cause here's the uh, sharpened commas compared to the training commas. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a black panther or a puma design on the blade. And so these blades, not sharp. As you can see, I'm just kind of chopping my hand here. It doesn't hurt at all. Although this point here, you could definitely hurt yourself if you hit it really hard. Yeah, I feel much safer spinning these babies around. And if I hit myself, not a big deal. Cool, so let's take these and these and go outside and and chop up some fruit. Fight! <laughs> she got my hand already. Ooh! Good thing we got the plastic yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an armless. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> she kicked me in the knee. Oh! Oh! Kitana wins. Finish him. Fatality. Katana needs a comma, right? <laughs> I've got my commas. So V, you've got the plastic training commas. That way you can't hurt yourself. For amateurs. I've got the real sharpened steel katanas, but I've kept the plastic sheath on. These look like farming tools. Yes, that's actually where they started from. Good inside katana. This is a smart one here, isn't she, guys? Yeah, yeah they're like sickles. Sickles, yes. Not icicles <laughs> or popsicles, <laughs> just plain old sickles. <laughs> so I'm sure these are gonna do, these are very, very sharp. So these are gonna do a really good job of chopping some soda. Yeah. So let's destroy a soda ninja. We've got our soda ninja here, who's gonna be facing the commas. Who do you think's gonna win, guys? The googly eyes. I think you're right, but the googly eyes, he's gonna put up a good fight, isn't he? I know. <laughs> All right, let's chop him up. Goodbye, little soda ninja. You were such a good friend. I will miss you. right there, <laughs> right in between the headbands. They got a good chop, and he even has one eye left, so I'd say he's halfway survived. Good job, Soda Ninja. I knew he'd put up a good fight. <laughs> Let's go back inside and get another weapon. And the next Mortal Kombat weapon we are testing out is the Nightstick. It is used by Officer Curtis Stryker and is very befitting of his position as a New York cop. Cassie Cage wields a pair of extendable Nightsticks. Now, those are the ones that really interest me the most because I love extendable weapons. So let's jump online and see if we can find anything like that. Here we go, collapsible nightstick for $29.95. Collapsible nightstick is made from aircraft quality aluminum and combines the best qualities of an Okinawan style tanfa and extendable police batons. Let's order it and see how it works. Hey Striker, where are you? I've got your nightstick right here. It's the aircraft aluminum expandable baton slash tanfa. All right, there's a stick, handle, instructions, tools. All right, there we go. I've got it put together. It is now an extendable nightstick. And uh, let's see, how's this work? I'm just gonna give it a swing this way. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, wow. Yeah, very hard metal, pretty lightweight. It's got a really good grip here with a lot of grooves in it so your hand doesn't slip very easily. And it's also got a really nice grip right here too. If you wanted to swing this thing like this, you certainly could. Cool, okay, so I just figured out how to push this back in. It took me a second here, guys, but what you do is you just, right here in this ring, you push up this way, and then it very easily just goes right in there. All right, perfect. Let's take this thing and take it outside to chop up some fruit. 
I've got Striker's weapon with me here. Oh, it what's is that? The nightstick. It looks like a one of those uh, hot glue guns. <laughs> hot glue gun. But it looks really cool when you go like this. Ooh. Oh, there we that go. That is pretty cool. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Don't uh, hit yourself like, in the face. What is that called? The baton? Yeah. So yeah, it's also like a baton. It's also like a tanfa, which we've used before. Though we've never had the telescoping nightstick. So this is the first time we've used this one. Maybe you could throw an emoji water balloon at me. Oh yeah, cool. So let's do it. This emoji is laughing, but let's see who gets the last laugh. Bring it on, Katana. Nice soft chair right here. And the balloon pop is all blue down here. So. All that blue blood. Oh, uh, there's all that's left of them. Um... Who's laughing now? Exactly. I am. <laughs> Let's see who's cooler. Emoji balloon or sub zero? Let's go back inside. And if you guys want any of the weapons I'm using in this video, there's links to them in the description below. Thanks Karate Mart for giving me a 10% off code for you guys. Just type in wild clay and you'll get 10% off. And thanks to HalloweenCostumes.com who are also giving you guys 10% off. I've put a link to them down below as well. And I really wanna thank you guys for all the super awesome and nice comments down below. I'm gonna put a bunch of my favorites right down here. Thank you guys so much and thanks for hitting that thumbs up button on this video as well well. If you haven't seen this video, definitely check it out. I think you'll really like it. If you're not subscribed to me, you can do so right there. If you're not subscribed to V, check her out right there. And if that video doesn't look good, why not check out this one? All right, I'll see you guys real soon with another brand new video. Kia!